This is Iwa Itirangi, our massive tunnel boring machine that will excavate for 15 kilometers under the city of Auckland. This is the front of the machine and the cataract will go attached here and it's 5.5 meter diameter wide. Now we are in the operator cabin and this is actually the brain of the wall machine. So here, when it's in a advanced mode, excavation mode, the operator is, he has to select this button here and then he can start uh, turning the cutter head, advanced, and then he will operate through here the, the, the machine. here, VMT is the system, uh, is the guidance system of the TVM. So we have a, a Theodolith, which is an instrument with a laser. It will give the coordinates to the operator to move the machine accordingly to the design of the tunnel. We are not talking about centimeters, but millimeters every time. So we have an accurate measure of, of the position of the TVM. It is a bit noisy because, of course, uh, all the rollers and the motors are, are generating noise, but not from the ground. The workers in the tunnel boring machine, they have to wear uh, earplugs. This is the hyperbaric chamber. This is actually to enter on the cutter head when we need to do any maintenance, special maintenance. So what's happening here is that the personnel that enter will be pressurized to the same pressure we have in the face, so they can go and work. So we are inside the refit chamber. It's designed for uh, 10 people. We have two in the TBM, so 20 people in total. And uh, the people are here safe for at least 24 hours. They have food and water supply and all the communication uh, systems to communicate with the surface. It looks uh, small from the first side, but when you get in, uh, it's quite uh, roomy. So it goes uh, from 10 to 15 kilometers per hour. This is the allowable speed inside the tunnel. And the maximum distance will be 7.5 kilometers from here, from Angere, up to May Road. We are using four max kits for each uh, loco. They are carrying the spoil of each excavation. Uh, the capacity of each uh, skip is uh, 15 cubic meters, so 60 cubic meters in total. It's enough for 1.6 meters of excavation. 